Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing great and ready to some cross stitch with me, maybe diamond paint or like I will do today beaded stitching. So I just want to show you what I have so far on the top of my canvas. This is one of the Ukrainian designs and I'm working on this frame that I bought it from Michael's store. I like this frame. Unfortunately, I don't have a frame stand. So I just keep it on a table. Usually, if I, I will show you how I do it. I will grab my diamond painting organizer. <laughs> this one. Usually, I put my frame all the way like this on the edge of my table. And then I would put my diamond painting like this so it's hold steady and not gonna let me like you know frame fall down I just have to see how will be comfortable um, like right now because this is the top of the canvas so I can't really um, uh, roll yet because when I get to the bottom part it will be comfortable for me to stitch so this part when I was stitching I was keeping my frame upside down towards me like this so that way this piece hanging off the table so I can go under and stitch and that's how I was stitching to this uh, thing now I'm kind of like in the middle in here so we'll see I think I will have to flip it back this way because it will be more comfortable for me to stitch now the first part that I did stitching on this canvas and this canvas from fan cells I believe uh, there's a, on the bottom of the design I already roll it but I will link it up for you my video that I did uh, bottom part like a border looks beautiful and you can see how it looks like from the bottom canvas um, I will not unroll right now I'm just gonna keep it this way and today I will stitch with you this flowers I purposely wanted to stitch all this little small bits and pieces still left a little bit it's kind of like a little bit painful to stitch them because I have to break a thread well it's kind of from here to here I connect them but then in here big passage so I secure and then start again this one so now this is big flowers I don't have to break my thread all the time so we will stitch together if you like this kind of craft stay with me and let's get started well I put my beads in your view so you can see them it's kind of very very pretty color and also I decided to turn it off light of my magnifier lamp so I don't create shadow with my fingers because it kind of getting shadowy I cannot stand the dark spots in my video so we will start not forgetting to pick up one bead each time and I'm just going to kind of together secure my threads from the bottom and now I'm holding my thread underneath on my canvas while I'm trying to find a hole for my next bead and I'm using if you didn't watch my previous video uh, this uh, canvas is supposed to be like a regular cross stitch right so nothing special I just decided to switch by myself to have uh, this oh my goodness where is that hole I might have to put light back and start Okay, just a minute like I cannot see it sometimes paint a little bit over painted and it's kind of like hard to get through okay I got it but you see I'm creating lots of shadow so let's try again um, yeah so I decided to change to the beaded stitching first of all because it's only two colors in here uh, black and red so I thought all right I can definitely find two colors in my bead and stash at least to start and then I would be um, probably 
will order more. I'm not sure I will have enough, or probably not enough. But for now, I have a good chunk of these beads, and you know, even sometimes you think you don't have too much beads, but they are so tiny, so it's definitely more than you think you have. And I still have a big, um, like full container, so I have no idea how many in here, but hopefully, hopefully will be enough. Maybe even for the center flowers and the main, like um, maybe I can do even different little bit shade of color for the main big, big flowers in this design. So definitely check it out, um, my beginning video, video number one or two. Uh, oh, I have a few of them. Okay, this magnet in here on my, on my way, okay. Push away because my thread keeps wrapping up around the magnet. And I already once before spilled my beads on the ground. So just like um, the, the frame, the way I hold it right now, accidentally I crank down and because my beads laying on the top of it and they just went all over the floor. So you have to be careful and just don't put too many beads at once on your working space for in case, you know, this will happen to you. Better start slow. Okay. If bead doesn't layer good way, then just help yourself with the needle. I love this craft a lot. I just wish the beads would be cheaper so you can buy like every single color of the rainbow you know, everything that exists, but unfortunately that would be lots and lots of money if I would decide to purchase absolutely every single color. So little by little my collection grows slowly. If you never beat before, all you have to remember is to layer your beads in the same direction so they all face in one side. For example, if you have lots of layers already, if you put your needle through one bead, they should go stitch all the way through the whole bead and not hit any bead because the hole will be holes will be in same direction so it's like a you have stitching you know if you like to cross stitch that you already know how to bead stitch it just you do in your half stitching that's it and when you do your half stitch you always remember to layer them in one direction right make sure you do that As I record in this video, for me it's Friday and soon kids come from school. We are going camping for two days now, unfortunately. You know, instead of four days we used to go. Now with the school we cannot go till Friday afternoon. In the summer we would go on Thursday and come back on Monday. Now Sunday I will be back so I might just gonna create this video a little bit and just upload later when I come back or just do process right now so I have less work to do when I come back on Sunday and Monday I will resume my recording videos oh okay I have to go back because I miss one bead let's see if I can find a hole to get out from here 
safely without splitting a thread. Okay, I did it. It's just because it's dark for me to do. I might well have to put you on my lap. Would you like to sit down on my lap? And we will stitch together from my point of view. I think we should. How about now? I wonder if this will be better for you to see or not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what should I take with me to camp today? Kind of a little bit chilly this morning, but it's supposed to be warm later on. And I'm just so sad to see summer go. Because uh, it's get cold and I can't go in the water in the lake. I am still can look from my pretty rocks on the shore but that's not fun I like to go in the water and walk in the water okay so I'm trying to readjust my lamp um, you cannot see it, but I still have in here one more layer that's actually from here. Start it now a little bit and go this way. So I will go start right from this corner. Well, mm, maybe even I don't want a too long passage of the thread. So I will start next to it. And sometimes to make a, a short cut and not visible to go like um, on the back of the canvas to have a big passage of the thread, I go same direction like I showed you before through the beads that I already stitched if my needle go through, but that would be all right. For example, the one that I just stitched I can go one more time. Let's try if I can go one more time through this one. Oh yes, I can. So it's kind of like this one will be stitched twice, but that way uh, also will be look beautiful on the other side without all those threads, you know, creating a web. All right, so I don't really like uh, this setup because I cannot see it from my position the way I'm working this side. I have to do something else, maybe. Mm. I don't know if this will work. Maybe well. Or I will go from the other side so I can see holes better and go from top to the bottom. I can do that too. We could try and see if this will be better to stitch and maybe you will see better how I layer those beads. These two beads look like a little bit smaller. It's okay. Then next one I will get a little bit thicker bead. So it will cover. If you don't have a very perfect bead to stitch, you just, if you have one skinny bead, then put next to it a little bit more thicker so they kind of balance together each other and create same value. 
Okay, I cannot see the other side. Just a minute. Well, my friends, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to put you back on the table. Beading thing doesn't work for me uh, to do without light, and I just I cannot see nothing. Maybe we will go back to the beginning of this. Um, maybe if I go here and start go up and down maybe you will see better no, I'm not concerned if you have a better not smudged image maybe not but I have to work with light it's not enough uh, light for me from the window right now maybe I should record this kind of video a little bit later on when sun gets around a little bit more But you don't have to watch, you can just listen and and do your craft whatever you're doing. So anyway, I promise you some story if you remember when we did with you uh, those bumblebee and sunflowers 3D project which I will be finishing that project as well this week. I don't want to keep it any longer. I need to finish some some project that already should be finished, you know, especially little projects. So let me tell you some story that is very strange but feel rewarded. Um, where to start? Where to start? Okay, so uh, what's the day we have? Today is a, well, anyway, two days ago from wherever I recorded the video, um, my husband and I we went to Niagara Falls. Just two of us, kids were staying home, watching puppies, and we decided just to go two of us, and we went for dinner. We went to check it out. Casino, it's open up now. We play a couple dollars casino. No luck. So we decided let's go home. I don't want to lose any money. So we go home. And in the last two days, we see like two trucks take the poles of the sidewalk road like car accident go to the poles I'm like what is going on with those poles people keep hitting them and smashing their trucks or when so it's like two car accidents in two days so we're driving to our city because Niagara Falls just uh, like 15-20 uh, minutes to drive car from where we live and we see like when we have to turn already close to where we live all of a sudden we see again smashed car and another car staying next to us so we thought those two crashed and just waiting for police to arrive it was dark already uh it was about after eight o'clock maybe nine and usually it's already dark outside this time of the year <clears throat> so we are still staying on a traffic light waiting our turn um, and I was like oh my god a third accident already in two days what is going on with the world why they don't drive careful um, hope I say well hopefully nobody got hurt all of a sudden the guy from the smashed car came out from his car, a little car, I don't understand the models because I'm not driving, came out from his car, ripped his front license plate and walking away. Like what the heck? <laughs> um, 
I think is he maybe hurt? Maybe he wants to sit down on the sidewalk and wait until cops arrive? No, he keep walking further. I say maybe he need to go to the bathroom and he trying to go between you no know, behind a buildings or something. So I say, well, you know, let's just ask if he's okay. So we ignore our traffic light and we decided just to go straight to catch up with this man. He's older man, uh, maybe like, uh, let's say, maybe around, well, after 60, close to 70, maybe, years of age. So my husband's like, sir, are you okay? Are you hurt? He, he rumbled something we, we couldn't understand and he kept walking without stopping. My husband like, where are you going? He ignoring us totally and he keep walking and walking between buildings. So we turn and it was like a courthouse up there and uh, a living house. He walking between them. So we turn our truck up there and driving behind him. Uh, Sir, where are you going? Are you even car accident? He start climbing fence. <laughs> In his age, he climbing a fence and my husband don't know what to do. He came out of the car, keep talking to him and he ignoring totally. My husband said, are you running away? So he jumped over this fence. Um, we decided not to touch him because who knows if my husband would pull him down. He could fall off the fence or hit his head then we would be in trouble. So we decided, okay. And there's a three young people, three boys that were their car on the intersection. Uh, luckily he didn't hit them but he almost hit them so that's why they stopped and tried to communicate with him but he started running away so um, he's like he the boy says uh, maybe like you know 20s whatever three um, young men and <clears throat> he say he almost spin us he got so close that we had no choice we have to like um, get their car to the safe position which would be even more dangerous if some other car would be behind them. Um, so that guy jumped over the fence and start walking away. One of the young boys um, climb on the top of the fence try to look for him but it's dark you can't see nothing and the back behind a building has like a pitch block you can see nothing so we thought okay we probably gonna lose him. So I just say, well, uh, let's go home or what are we going to do now? There's nothing you can do. You can climb fence and keep chasing him. You never know. Maybe he has a knife or a gun. Uh, but we decided to turn around the block and just see if we can see him walking somewhere behind that building. We turn on the next street. And my husband keep driving and all of a sudden I see same guy walking towards us. He saw our truck and he jump. Um, it's like a flower bed bushes between those tall grass decorative pieces like a grass flowers, you know, the usually um, banks have them, those tall grass. He jumped in that flower bed and lay down and sitting there because <laughs> he saw our truck or he was hiding from every truck, truck from that point. I said, Dan, stop, stop. He's here. He's hiding. He's, he's like, where, where? I don't see him. I say, trust me, just pull over. He is hiding behind those bushes and the tall grass on the ground. So we stop right in the middle of road, basically. Um, my husband went up there, sure enough, he's laying on the ground, trying to hide. Thank goodness I spot him. 
So my husband grabbed him and he say he was think with alcohol so much that is like oh the, the the air going from him is horrible so he grabbed his front license plate i don't know what's the deal because you still have a one more license plate on the back of your car but anyway he was trying to flee the accident or whatever it is and maybe later pretend that somebody stole his car that's why i don't have a plate um so that's like and by the way uh, when we were um go back when he was climbing the fence my husband like call 911 call 911 so i say here here is my phone you call <laughs> so from my phone he called 911 and all this commotion what is going on um, those boys and he, we were trying to stop him run away uh, everything kind of like between a uh, 911 person who answer our phone and uh, we keep staying on a phone so we thought okay we lost it but we give a direction um, to the 911 caller tell them how he look like who he is like what he's wearing uh, the facial hair and stuff like that just for in case if they will look for him they know who to look for uh, so we still like on the phone and after we grab him from the flower bed my husband's like okay we got him we got him the uh, then already were uh, cap on the phone you sure you got him i said yes we got him oh my god we are looking for him already he did 11 accidents and run hit and run hit and run oh my god the the cop was so happy that we catch him to take him off the street and that guy was trying to like while my husband still talking on the phone uh the guy was putting a fist together he was gonna hit my husband so he can run away so i jump off the car because i hear them struggling together uh, no fight yet but he was getting a little bit aggressive so i grab my other phone which is uh, my older phone that i downloaded some uh, arcade games and when we drive a uh, long uh, road trip or something usually i bring my older phone because it's already disconnected from the from the phone actual phone but i'm using it for to take a pictures or maybe videos uh, playing some games on it so i don't have this extra storage um, wasted on my regular phone so i pull out my other phone and i started record video i say sir i'm recording you on my video don't do anything stupid and just stay still to cops get here so he slowed down he saw me he not start to argue or anything and we're just like why are you running oh somebody was chasing me really who can chase you he was so drunk so obviously cops probably was chasing him because they were trying to catch him and he was keep running away and people keep calling 911 for a car accident till the time the cops go there he's already gone and create another accident um so maybe like two minutes <clears throat> since we call the cop that we already got him really fast we hear the sirens already is going on on the street <clears throat> cops coming so we did um he pull pull out behind our truck it's like oh my god you catch this guy we've been looking for him already for quite some time i'm just putting more beat because he created 11 accidents and running away people keep calling and he just keep running from the um, accident site and we can't find him so thank you so much so we give them a statement like um, what is going on basically they were on the phone with us um, they took us um, uh, police officer 
write down our address and phone number just for in case they need to contact us <clears throat> we give him information and names so he was really really thankful we got him and we feel like so proud to take a bad guy off the street and um, somebody told my husband that some young girl 17 years of age I think she just got her driver license and was driving for the first time and he smacked her very very bad thank goodness no fatalities but you know for the young kids to have first experience like this um, you cannot wish to any kid or any adult for the matter because it's horrible and I'm just trying to give him a lecture while we're still holding to him like why are you driving you shouldn't be sitting behind a wheel when you're drunk oh somebody was chasing me well get on your feet and run on the street with no car if somebody chase you uh, why would you sit down and put people in danger you could kill somebody I know I know I say did you hit this young boys in here they were looking for you and he admit like right on my video because I was recording and talking to him he's like no I didn't hit them but I hit other person so it's like okay he admit hitting somebody so if later he deny or something we got that on camera so I still have the video on my cell phone just for in case cops need it or not but nobody contacted us next day so I guess everything okay and he will be facing a court for sure not sure if they release him or not um, but we were very happy to get him off the street that's for sure so that was a exciting story <laughs> kind of to see you yeah. so after we say goodbye to um, police officer and went home it's like okay if you don't need us uh, we are gonna go home so he was keeps taking a statement from three young boys what they witness so we were driving home and with a bad car accident there was a fire truck and uh, ambulance up there so I guess that was accident one of them that he created because it was in the same kind of area around not far away from us so that was like whoa he, we are lucky to get him off the street so that's something that we did good and I'm just so glad that I spot him my husband didn't see him hiding on the bushes I, I spot him it's like oh my god good eyes Natalia yeah not bad I'm glad we see him so that was a story of the spy girl who turned a bad boy into the law officer and get him off the street at least for the night till he sober up till morning so that's what was happening my people we were like a bad guys chaser that night <laughs> so that's the story do you think that was an interesting story for you to listen okay this bead a little bit small for this one needle doesn't go through so I will put aside and can use in some other project with the beaded needle because this needle that I'm using right now it's the needle that was included in this 14 count Ada kit but this particular beads have a big hole so work perfect for this stitching with the threads and a bead so it's pretty good go what I want to do here I will be go from this side from uh, hold on from my right to my left which is opposite side for you 
I will go this line one more time to go down and wiggle to the top so I can go here and continue this way and finish somewhere in this point so I can jump into the next flower in here. So that's the plan to keep thread keep going but till, till that time my thread will be finished anyway I will have to re-thread new one because it's not long left in here but if I would have a long thread that's what I will do just um, go up and down up and down to get to the point where I need to be so you don't have to stitch line by line you can wiggle horizontal vertical whatever is comfortable for you to get to the point from A to B and now we'll go down to catch my bottom row here and from my last line I will finish these pieces to complete this petal So what else I can tell you? Or one story is enough. I have to think of something for Halloween to tell you some Halloween story. I have to think of something scary. I don't know if I have any scary story. When we were kids we used to um, gather together like the whole street you know it's not like now i i feel like now kids are so boring <laughs> they don't know what's the life outside of the electronic how much we have fun outside with no electronics huh we play from morning to night outdoors with a bunch of kids the whole street would gather together we would play some fun games so when it get darker, we used to love to tell some scary story, go in a circle and whoever can chip into some stories, so that was fun. Some was very creepy, but to think about something now, I can't remember nothing. So I have to maybe even read some story to tell you, I don't know. There's lots of scary story. I even follow, um, I didn't read for a long time, but um, there is a Facebook group that you can, um, people post up there some creepy story. It's like a ghost and everything. Um, I, I like that stuff. <clears throat> I watch videos on YouTube. I like to watch stuff that is, you know, the creepy stuff. Cemetery, morgues, um, investigation crime skin i don't know this story interesting to me um how for example if i watch some investigation or cold cases uh, for me the interesting is how smart people and how dna all the technology from absolutely nothing to solve the crimes and put behind a bar the bad guys and that just very interesting all this uh, laboratory and how it's work yeah what do you think about this role getting to life okay where should i go now um maybe i will get this top part and then go down this way my thread is really short right now so we'll be finishing soon so maybe i can finish with this part in here and then retread and start again from the bottom like from from this side
it's really satisfying to stitch with beads even these days I probably cross stitch more than diamond paint it's just so much fun Oh, I know. <clears throat> I know what I will take to my camper today. Uh, what I will do. I will take with me latch hook. Uh, latch hook, yeah, that's that's what you call a latch hook, right? That is something that I never done before. And it looks pretty simple to do. So I think I will get that bunny. Is a bunny or bird? No, I think I have a bunny, right? Bunny and a minion. So minion is more simple, but bunny has a lots of colors up there. And yeah, the pattern. Thank you for all those tips that you girls give me how to do it because some of you did latch hook for years ago and I never ever did this before didn't have a well then first of all we did not have this kind of craft when I was home in Ukraine and later when I saw this in Canada I thought it's kind of like an outdated craft maybe because nobody's doing it but you know what even cross stitch wasn't popular 20 years ago either it started all just like recently which is in European country like you know Ukraine and Russia all the European country we have a high um, like cross stitch always always popular up there and now by introducing people slowly to cross stitch in here Canada and US more and more people start loving this craft because it is fun it's fun and now it's a large hook come oh hold on I have to go back I miss one spot it's hiding between or did I no I did not miss oh okay that was just a bit move a little bit over and feels like I have a empty space okay no I'm, I did good so now large hook coming back and Christine suggested uh, in one of my video of diamond painting on the sunflowers I asked a question please recommend what you want to see and what kind of craft product in the stores so they can bring something new for us so Christine was happy to say large hook would be good to have in more stores than just one maybe with more designs that's interesting um, because those comments I just read them right now because uh, Friday so that's the video that just went live today with my question about what else we can ask companies to bring for us so far I have a large hook and plastic canvas projects those are always fun as well yes I agree so let's see to the end of the day not the end of the day but you know a few more hours that I have before camping I still have to finish laundry so I will read those comments and after I come back from camping I will not pass your um, questions but I actually will tell the suppliers to read comments under my video I will literally just uh, put them into my video link and tell them here that's what my friends want and maybe you can bring this new stuff okay my thread now is really really short I have to put new thread and 
I don't know if you want to still continue stay with me so we can stitch together or maybe for now this video will be about 30 minutes maybe so I think it would be okay now uh, I think I will say uh, by now because I have things to do before I go camping yet and I hope you like this uh, stitching it's really satisfying when you touch it. Uh, let me get you off the tripod to show you a little bit better. Here is what we stitch with you together. Oh, this is so satisfying, especially to look like this. Look how much dimensions this bringing. If I put camera all the way down, isn't that amazing? And when you touch with your finger like this, it's so satisfying to feel those beads all so smooth and silky like this. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it so much. If I can zoom out and bring you to the canvas, let's see. Okay, we need a more light. Right. Mm. My camera literally look at this just make sure all your beads face in the same direction this is how it's going to look when we add some blacks around that's the center whereas you see green I will do black color up there so yeah looks good looks good I like the way it looks like 3d and by the way uh, this magnet that I have, look at this, it's like another piece on another side. Uh, Niagara Falls have the place, it's a restaurant, rainforest called on a Clifton Hill up there. And it used to be, I don't know if it's still they have or not, there's a, a shop up there, like a souvenir shop. And there's huge, huge things, aquariums and even shark up there. Um, and they have different stones um, you can buy little tiny baggy like a nice cashmere baggy and you fill in with different kind of stones up there they like artificial colored uh, looks like a gemstones and you can um, buy a souvenir and a whole bunch of like this um, different kind of uh, let me get this magnets Where's the other one they are very, very strong. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to dump my. They are very strong diamonds, like no shape whatsoever, just like this. I have actually one that is round and one lone one. This one just like a, see, like a different kind of shape, but looks like natural. And they are so. <laughs> scared myself. They are very, very strong, so I, I find them very good for the cross stitch. And look how strong it's on a distance already moving my stone. Look at that! Oh, this snap always scares me. <laughs> so, yeah, they when you bind them, there's like all chain uh, you can create, they just stay together like this. So, I'm just using it for cross stitching and holding them and my needle pretty good. So I will have to go there and check if I have um, if I find more of those. But I have uh, lots of this one magnets like this. I can put them on every cross stitch because some of those needle minder not very strong uh, magnets that they have. This one work much better. It doesn't look very attractive, but it's shiny like a bead, you know. And hold my needle. That's all I need. So what do you think? Do you love it? I absolutely love it. And I always love to look from this point because it looks so cute, three-dimensional. All right, my friends, I will go and pack for the camping. You have a good weekend. Well, of course, when you're watching this video, will be Tuesday probably. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be way far away already from my weekend and I'm already working hard. So, <laughs> yeah, I love you as always. Stay safe and I will see you tomorrow.